Hello everyone, this is Joan from CanHub and welcome to another anatomy tutorial where this time we're going to be talking about the cerebellum. So what we're going to be doing is exploring mainly these two images that you see now on the screen. So on the top image we're looking at the caudal view of the cerebellum while on the bottom image you can see then the cranial view of the cerebellum. So there is a lot to learn about this very beautiful and exciting structure of your brain, the cerebellum. If we move to the next image, you can see now uh, the cerebellum highlighted in green, but now on a mid-sagittal section. The term cerebellum comes from Latin, which means a small brain. And if you see the cerebellum in this medial view of uh, the brain, you see uh, that it looks like a small brain that is located inferior to uh, the occipital uh, lobe of the brain, behind the brain stem. So the brain stem is here, as you can see. Now inside the skull, uh, the cerebellum is located in what we call uh, the cerebellar fossa, which is highlighted here in green on uh, this image of the superior view of uh, the cranial vault or the cranial base. The cerebellum plays a lot of functions, very important functions that we're going to talk about, but mainly it plays an important role in motor control. This structure does not initiate movement, but rather modifies uh, the motor commands of the descending pathways to make movements more adaptive and accurate. The cerebellum receives input from uh, the sensory system of the spinal cord and other parts of the brain, then integrating these to fine-tune motor activity. I would like to also add here that the cerebellum is involved in maintenance of balance and posture. And other functions associated to the cerebellum include coordination of voluntary movements, motor learning, and cognitive functions, for example, in a language. Now, the cerebellum is a highly interconnected structure of the nervous system and has numerous connections with other parts of the nervous system. Now, all these afferent and afferent connections of the cerebellum come through three pairs of fiber systems, which then connect the cerebellum with the CNS, the central nervous system, and they are called peduncles, and we're going to be talking about them now. So, there are three peduncles of the cerebellum that you need to know, the inferior peduncle, the middle peduncle, and finally, the superior one. So on the following slides, we're going to be looking at these three pairs of structures. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.